Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. It's Tracy, and uh, this is another little unboxing. Um, I believe this is my Crochet Society box. Um, this is my second one. I did a subscription, I think it was for six months, and uh, this is my second. So, um, the first one, I did intend to make the hat that was inside. Um, I was going to take it to hospital with me and make that hat. But um, during my recovery in hospital, I was just too ill to do it. And I couldn't see too well either. Um, I don't know if it was the the swelling that I had, but I, I couldn't see quite as well. So that, as well as everything else, just meant that I didn't get around to doing that. But I have no idea what's in this one. So let's, um, I've opened it up, but not got it out yet. Let's move the packaging so yeah here we are crochet society by bella coco and it's always got a little bit of velcro keeping the box shut and inside you do get a nice little bit of um tissue paper oh now this is pretty it's a signet yarn i can tell already by the little swan so we've got Bella Coco Kaleidoscope, but well, it's actually Signet Kaleidoscope DK 100 grams in a variegated. Um, what colour do we have? It's Rainbow Drops number 267. Now, I have used um, Signet Kaleidoscope before. It's not a massively expensive yarn, I have to say, but we do have two 100 gram skeins of this now i did make a scarf for um a five-year-old five six-year-old um out of something very similar so um that would that would do the same thing the hat and the scarf that i made would work up perfectly in that so i'm just getting it all out of the box so i can push it a bit further back and we can see what we've got so inside today we have a little stitch marker very pretty um, now, one of my magazines a little while ago gave me a free bangle that you can attach all these stitch markers to. So that's what I'm going to be doing with my stitch markers from now on, adding them to that bangle. And they are hanging in my yarn room, ready for when I need them. So I'll just pop that back in there. So we've got um, some chart size thingies. So at the moment, not really sure what this one's about. It's hard to see. Um, put it see through, and um, that doesn't help at all, does it? But we've got like a little gauge, and we have one here as well. Obviously, if I'm looking at it, it will obviously it won't be so difficult to see with all of the glitter. Helps to have it the right way around as well, doesn't it? So this is a hook size conversion chart. Managed to see that one. This one, though, is eluding me a little bit. Uh, measure twice. Is that what it says? Crochet once. So we've got inches and we've got centimetres. So hopefully it all will be revealed. So we've got some stickers as well, which um, are, is like a conversion chart, but they are stickers if you want to pull them off. They're quite big. I don't know what you stick it onto. Okay, and we've got the booklet. So that is very pretty. That's obviously one of the things that you can make with this. Now, I would say the yarn that I made Sophia's scarf and hat with was King Cole. Very, very similar to this, but I would say this is a little softer. Only marginally, but it is just a little bit softer. So let's pop that by the box at the moment and let's have a look at the book. So if I pull this back a little bit, we can get a good look. It's only a little booklet, so it shouldn't be too hard to get it all in. Now I do like that, that's kind of nice. Don't you think that little wrap, sure. And the welcome page as usual with Bear Coco. Now these are all of the projects that you can make. So we've got a filet heart 
blanket or fillet, whatever you want to call it. The kaleidoscope shawl, I do like that, that's pretty, but I'm not keen on pointy ones. Unless you put something to weight it down. And we've got some um, hat and mittens. So there's the hat and the mittens. And we have a guide to fillet crochet. And especially for you, extra treats exclusively for subscribers. Okay. So tea and chat with Lisa Cook. This month we're chatting to Lisa Cook, crochet designer, dyer and author of the fabulous, delicious crochet shawls. A little bit on her. What you talk, um, editorial, should I say. And she's obviously the designer of this particular shawl in here this week, month should I say, rather than week, month. It's not a weekly box, I'm glad to say. <laughs> out of pocket. It's not the most expensive box either, so um, if you did want to take it up, works out roughly, I would say, between £15 and £20 a box. Not too bad at all. Um, the criticisms I've heard is that they're all pastel, but having said that, this is really pretty yarn. So, And last time was peach colours. So they are nice. I've enjoyed them so far. Um, but that's pretty. I do like that. I think I'd like to make it as a rectangle though. Just, you know, I like the wraps rather than shawls. Personally. There is more besides. I haven't... We've got this little box, which um, I forgot to show you. This is a handy hook storage box. So that's pretty handy for putting in the yarn room and keeping things tidy. So here we go, in the storage box, keep all your hooks neat and tidy in this handy organizer and use your stickers to show which hook sizes can be found in each section. So that's what the stickers are for. See, I knew there'd be an explanation. Um, exclusive patterns, if you need a hand, remember Sarah Jane's videos are there for you. Uh, RRP on the patterns is 12.50 so it's saying I should have a hook I believe in this I don't there's no hook but that does look like there should be a hook stitch marker hook and stitch marker well hang on let's have a look then is there a hook did I miss it I don't think I have it oh yes I do it was underneath. There we go. We do have the hook. It was under the um, the paper. So that's cool. I'll pop that in my little handy hook storage. Now, I've only ever used one of the Bella Coco hooks. This one's a 375. And it was one that came free with a magazine. And um, I have to say, it didn't flow as well as I'd like, but I haven't used any of the freebie ones that I've got so far yet. I did intend to, as I say, when I was in hospital, I was gonna make the hat with the hook and let you know what it was all about, but it didn't quite come off with my recovery. So these are the Kaleidoscope colors by Signet that you can get hold of. They're very pretty, very, I like the cotton candy. And the Swizzle, I believe I've got already. Um, and there's the rainbow drops that we have. I do have some of this in the yarn room already, but um, as I say, I think it is swizzle that I've got. So this is the the blanket designed by Zoe Potrack. Instagram, Zoe Potrack, if you want to find her. And that's a very simple pattern, but quite effective. These always remind me of the... Uh, um, is it the something the midwife <laughs> call the midwife blankets that's the one based on the tv show so here's a guide to filet crochet or fillet whatever you want to call it i like to call it fretwork because after all that's what it's called when i learned fretwork making fretwork ah this is good i'll give you some i have a whole book of square paper for making stuff but couple of pages there if you want to start making your own little charts and for you save 20 percent at search press and save 40 percent on crochet now if you want to 
So here we have the mittens and the hat. It's quite um, one of those single US crochet or double UK crochet brims where you go in to the back loop only to make that. And these are quite straightforward, quite plain. I'll, I have a few fingerless mittens on my channel, which um, they're not overly holy, but they're patterned. Quite easy to make. If I can remember to, I'll put a link at the end of the video when all the suggestions come up. So this is a chance for readers to show their makes, like subscribers. I've never sent in anything. And a little advert for next time. So don't miss out, say 14%. Join for as little as £18.99 per box. I think it was 19 99 when I joined, so it's a little bit cheaper today. So there we go. This is the box. So if you wanted to subscribe, there is the code and the number. And on the back, we've got the guide to UK crochet terms against US and hook sizes. So what do you think of this one? I really, really like this, I have to say. Um, and I like the fact that it does showcase other designers. It doesn't showcase me, but I forgive her. <laughs> But yeah, I do like I do like this, but I won't probably won't make it as a a triangular shawl. I had I made a triangular shawl, I made bag a day innocence shawl and I made it with um a cello walls, very bright purple, sparkly glitz wool and um I gave it away to charity because I just couldn't stand the way it hung. Um I put it in a charity bag and just gave it away. Um it was the way that it, it just didn't sit right for me. Um, something about pointy shawls, unless they're weighted, it uh, sometimes doesn't. So I like them to be a wrap that just goes around your shoulder. That's more up my street. So that's this this month. Um, I would say this yarn is not the most expensive yarn um, that could have been in this box. It's fairly, fairly inexpensive, but um, it is nice quality yarn. And I like the way it works up. And I do really like these marble kinds of yarns where you get the colour and a white in the twist. Um, there's an awful lot of them around now. The first one that I really worked with was Poundland, but um, not to take anything away from Poundland either. It's soft. It works up lovely. And um, I've yet to find one that is more of a favourite for me than that one. The one that I made my Willow Square blanket with, which I'll put a link at the end if you haven't seen it already. That was the one that really started all the marbling yarns for me. And I really like them. This is a beautiful colour scheme, I have to say. I do like this. It's really, really pretty. Um, whether I'd make it into a wrap for myself or use this for one of the children and more of an adult yarn for myself I don't know I don't know it does seem like there's only 200 grams let's see what the yardage is because it's um a tall order to make a big pointed shawl with just two so we have 292 meters per skein and you can machine wash it, which is good. And you obviously can get hold of more, no problem at all. But obviously the dye numbers you need to watch. But it is pretty yarn, I have to say. So what do you think of this month's offerings from the Crochet Society box? Let's get the bits and bobs out. Little stitch marker got left behind. So here we go, it's pretty stitch marker. And there's these two little bits and bobs. The crochet hook, which is always nice and sparkly. It does appeal to my magpie in me when there's always things that are very sparkly. I am a bit of a, a sparkly person. So yeah, what do you think? Like it? Or got an opinion? Pop it in the um, description box and let me know what you think. 
Uh, but at least I know what the stickers are for. <laughs> they are quite bold. But you know, they're quite easy to see on on these hooks, which is a good thing. Because I do have some clover and moors and it's just stamped on the side and very, very hard to see. I do have to peer rather a lot sometimes to figure out what your hook size is. But it's always stamped nice and clearly. So I haven't yet tried them. Maybe I will this time. So let's let me know what you think and thank you for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. You'll be informed when there are new videos. And for those of you who um, haven't seen my channel for a while, I do have a little bit of a lisp at the moment, but that's because I'm just recovering from surgery and I'm having a few problems with some S sounds. But hopefully, hopefully it will get better. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.